Hello everyone. This question asked in 2014 J advanced. The specialty of this question is 80% of the people may have committed a mistake even though they have solved the question correctly. They have solved the question correctly but the final answer many of the students would have kept a wrong answer. So here you see what is the largest value, the largest value of non-negative integer A. The largest value of non-negative integer A. Means A is greater than or equal to 0 for which the limit value equal to 1 by 4. Right. So here even though the question is quite simple, we do not use any uh, means a deep uh, concept, but the basic logic behind answering this question is only simple application of exponential function. Only simple application of exponential function. So, okay, let us try how to solve this question. So, in this question, we will use a few things that limit limit x tends to 0 sin x by x equal to 1 or you can say limit x tends to a sin of x minus a whole by x minus a equal to 1. We won't use any formula other than this. Now coming to the question. Here, see limit x tends to 1 minus ax plus sin of x minus 1 plus a by x into x minus 1 minus 1 whole power 1 minus x by 1 minus root x equal to 1 by 1. So just let us rewrite the given Limit, limit x tends to 1, okay. So just rearranging the terms here, I can take a comma. So here a into 1 minus x plus sin of x minus 1 all by let us rearrange the terms in denominator also. This is x minus 1 plus sin of x minus 1 whole to the power of here numerator I can write 1 minus root x into 1 plus root x all by 1 minus root x. So numerator is a plus b into a minus b equal to a square minus b square. They have given this is equal to 1 by 4. Again, I am telling even the question is quite simple, but the final answer definitely many of the students can put wrong answer. So now here you see, let us divide numerator and denominator by x minus 1. So divide here you see divide numerator and denominator right by x minus 1 by x minus 1. Okay. So what is the next step? So this implies, this implies limit x tends to 1. We are dividing by x minus 1, you see here. So you will have here minus a because this is 1 minus x plus sine x minus 1 
by x minus 1 whole by in numerator 1 plus we are dividing numerator and denominator by x minus 1. So here also sine of x minus 1 whole by x minus 1 whole to the power of here you see this 1 minus root x, 1 minus root x cancelled because in limits nothing is means as x tends to 1, 1 minus root x tends to 0 but not exactly 0. So here the power is root over 1 plus x. This they have given as 1 by 4. Now just one more step is required to finish this question. So this implies this implies limit x tends to 1. Okay. So here you see I can use this formula. Limit x tends to a sin of x minus a by x minus a equal to 1. So I need not to write any further limit. Simply I can write this value is 1 and this value is also 1 as limit x tends to 1. So this implies I can write minus a plus 1 whole by 1 plus 1 whole to the power of 2. As x tends to 1, root x value is 1. This is equal to 1 by 4. Now question becomes very simple. So this implies this I can write 1 minus a whole square. Anyway in denominator we have here 2, 2 square 4, that 4 and 4 cancel. So you will get equal to 1. This implies 1 minus a equal to you will get plus r minus 1 implies now it is easy to get the values of a a equal to when you take plus 1 you will get a equal to 0 or when you take minus 1 you will get a equal to 2. now what is the correct answer see the largest value of non negative integer a largest value of non negative integer a for which this is true Everybody will keep the answer to because among the among these two values of a, the largest non-negative integer is true. But actually, this is not correct answer. So two is not correct answer. The correct answer is zero. Why it so happens? The basic logic is. The exponential function a power x is defined only for positive values of the base. Only positive values of the base. So base must be always greater than 0. So here I will explain that f of x equal to a to the power of x is defined. Is defined. is defined for all x belongs to R and a must be greater than 0. So this base must be positive. Right. So now, sir, you can say that here anyway power is even integer. So here the base can be positive or negative, but still it is correct. Then why we have to take that a equal to 0? but not true. See here, the power is not exactly true. Here the power is approaching to. Here the power is approaching to. So here the basic logic is when when a equal to 2 when a equal to 2 that one base equal to this equal to 1 minus a by 2. This is the base. 
it this is equal to you will get minus 1 by 2 this becomes negative and and the power and the exponent and the exponent the exponent 1 plus root x tends to 2 as x tends to 1 as x tends to 1 but it is not actually 2 it approaches to 2 it approaches to two. say let us say 1 plus root x equal to you take that 1.99999 you can increase the number of nines like anything then so now you see let us take this now minus 1 by 2 power 1 point this 999 you can take any number of twos like this is not defined this is not defined so this is one of the most seems to be easy and a very intelligent person asked in j advanced 2014 the basic point here the base must be always positive. So that's why. Hence, the final answer is hence a equal to 0 is the correct answer. Please subscribe my channel. I will upload one by one previous J mains as well as previous J advanced questions.